Hello everybody, I'm Ben from What Culture. And I'm Peter from What Culture. And we've played a load of VR. That's right, Ben has had one since launch, nerd, and I've been lucky enough to have unlimited access to one over the course of last week. And with Christmas right around the corner, we thought we'd help advise optimistic Christmas list writers. That's a stupid sentence. Wow. On the games they should be getting. So, providing you've been very good this year, here are the five PSVR games you need to own. Number five, PlayStation VR Worlds. VR Worlds is a smorgasbord of virtual reality experiences, most, if not all, of which are a real romp to play through. Boot up this baby and strap into your headgear, and you too can experience what it's like to nearly lose a leg, nearly lose a head, and nearly losing everything. VR World's biggest selling point, though, is that it's the perfect gateway for somebody who's never played VR before, catering for everyone from the seasoned gamer who wants to immerse themselves in a literally first-person, first-person shooter, to your 94-year-old granny who's scared of controllers and so just wants to sit there looking at virtual fish. Lovely. With some genuinely memorable moments and one particularly well-directed narrative experience, this ought to be one of the very first games you get your grubby mitts on. Number four. Until Dawn, Rush of Blood. If you didn't know this by now, I'm a monumental coward when it comes to horror. I'm the bravest man around when concerned with anything else. And so the prospect of being physically strapped into an immersive, scare-filled experience where the escape of covering your eyes or looking away isn't possible sounds awful. And yet here we are with Until Dawn, Rush of Blood, an on-rails ghost train that's loosely related to the fantastic butterfly effect adventure game of the same name. Strapped into your godforsaken cart and given two godforsaken guns that you aim with two godforsaken move controllers, you'll have to shoot your way through a number of putrid levels where you'll destroy small targets and masked psychopaths alike, as well as physically dodging the various environmental hazards that are thrown your way for good measure. Let's not talk about those jump scares, though. All right, oh fucking hell no! Number three, Res Infinite. The original Res was generally well received when it first graced our television screens way back in 2001, but nobody could have truly known just how good an idea it would be to revive the 15 year old franchise and marry it off to cutting edge hardware. Spoiler alert, it was a very good idea. The whole game, like its predecessor, plays out like the wild and vivid fever dream of a man who spent all day channel hopping between Tron, Vib Ribbon, and the Snowman and chowing down on glow sticks, soaring through a vibrant wireframe world and blasting targets in time with the rhythm of some f funky, funky fresh beats, yo. It actually takes every ounce of discipline to stay on target and not just gaze off to your flanks and watch the light show whiz by. Res Infinite wound up winning the best VR game at this year's Game Awards, and we can absolutely understand why. Number two. Battlezone. Spiritual successor to the Atari classic of the same name, the 2016 VR-centric version allows you to pilot a super cool, colourful, shooting death bringer tank. That's not its actual name. It's definitely one of PSVR's more fleshed-out experiences, with a single-player campaign that features a procedurally generated map that means you'll never have exactly the same experience. And if you want to share this unique experience, you can! Battlezone lets you play cooperatively with up to three other players, allowing four of you to last through the game in collective VR bliss. Coupled with the fact that all PSVR headsets have a built-in mic and you're unlikely to ever come closer to controlling a super cool colourful shooter death bring a tank, we can't recommend this enough. And number one, Batman Arkham VR. Finally allowing you to fulfil that lifelong dream of being the Bat, Batman Arkham VR actually lets you be the Bat. In the wake of Robin and Nightwing's lack of radio contact, a manic evening of detective work awaits the Dark Knight as he desperately hunts down his current and former wards. You'll visit iconic locations from Batman lore and put the squeeze on a couple of familiar villains. And although you don't get to walk around the locations, the game does do a great job of simulating it by adopting a teleportation style movement system. Plus, you get to throw batarangs, and who's never wanted to do that? Cynics could call it a simple museum of easter eggs, but dear lord, what a museum. And what brilliant easter eggs. If anything, though it clocks in at around two hours, it proves that the PSVR is capable of hosting tight, narrative experiences. And where Rocksteady could have easily cut corners, they've made it fit into their existing Arkham series canon in impressive fashion.
And that is our list. Are there any PSVR titles you think deserve to be on here? Let us know in the comments below. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. You can even follow us on Twitter if you fancy. That'll be coming up now on your screen. I'm Ben from What Culture. And I'm Peter from What Culture. And we'll see you soon. Bye. Bye.